Hi everyone, my name is here and welcome to this new tutorial on how to use Item Designer for beginners. The lesson of today is a response to our friend Daniel Rogers who asked me to make a video on auto placing and writing on Item. So I will use for that lesson this circuit. You can use any circuit you want. I will I just use it to show you how to make the placement and writing. So you hear it in the PCB file. I have made the, the PC board. I will import the components, execute changes. Now that uh, all our our components are imported, I will uh, remove this room. Okay, and then what I'm going to do to be so to to have. Uh, efficient uh, placement I will make a split uh, horizontal and open this circuit the PCB file here now I will select the first block so first block here sorry <laughs> and you will see that automatically all the components that I select here are selected automatically here so now you can go you go to this file tools component placement and arrange within a room uh, arrange within a rectangle you go here for example I will choose this rectangle here to place my comp the block of components good then I will go to the second block and click here and tools, component placement, arrange within a rectangle, I will choose for example this placement, same thing for the third one, now I will close this file, now uh, in action design we don't have uh, auto placement, only we can, you can use this uh, arrange with, within a rectangle the placement you have to do it manually now we're going to begin the placement so you can make a comparison with the, this the sheet and for example we have C1 and C5 here C2 and C6 C1 and C5 you can make it right here C1 and C5. So now, what we should do in action designer is to uh, avoid cross between two lines the line means that there is a contact now I should rotate this one I have contact between this one and this one this one and this one also sorry. the ground okay same thing here or change we have c4 c3 c7 c3 c7 on the other side we have uh, c4 and ch c4 and ch this way I have this with this this with this it's okay the ground no problem same thing here for the third block 
last thing here is to place this power you have here across between this two these two lines we can avoid this by rotating this component this connector and everything is okay now. even if uh, I still have some crosses here it's no problem because this is the, the ground sometimes it's the ground and also I have uh, more space here free space uh, I will show you uh, something else here I can place those two components uh, Align them. I have to. You have to click here, and for example, align like that. Same thing for the, com the those two components. Same thing here. Uh, the other side like that. Same thing for this one. And those one too. those two also and so forth good you can also align two components like that in, in the same level those two components also you see uh, our our PCB is going to be more, you know, great. Good. Same thing here. Great. And last, oh, sorry. Last two components here. Good. Now the play the routing so we can make an auto routing by going to auto route all default two layer board and route it. See it's routed routing finished with zero uh, with the sorry zero connections held successfully so you can see we have you can change uh, for example a route place it for example like that no it's okay now and everything's okay so we are going to save it or maybe you want to make uh, I'm going to delete this one and I'm going to make it uh, I mean uh, manually so you can go here interactive route connection you click here you go until you see the, the circle example yeah okay and to this one you will follow the line until the pin and double click you are going to follow the other one the other line and click double click and right click to finish so it was uh, everything for today i hope it was uh, useful for uh, you Mr. Mr. Uh, Rogers and for everyone else goodbye and have uh, a good day